Johnny Healy Ray. We're glad to be here in Kilagland canvassing today to start into the rain. We'll have to get our cap, Kim. I will I have yeah. my cap in my pocket here. That's it. So, I, and we're, yeah. we're very thankful to the people of Kilagland and the people of the outside areas for the welcome that they've given us here today. And we hope to be elected in two weeks' time from now. And we've every effort into doing so. Doing. And again, I'd ask the people to give us the, their utmost consideration for a number one vote. And if they're committed to someone, we'd ask them for their, their second preference. And if we can ever help you in the future, provided we'll be there, we most certainly will do our best. The biggest things that's going on with the last few weeks is obviously the water charges, the property tax, and of course, like, my hat goes out to people when it comes to these two particular charges, because these two charges do not take into account people's ability to pay. So, in that regard, they're very unfair. That's the biggest thing. Of course, businesses, with regards to rates, um, there's a lot of shops closed in the town and they're asking it as to what the new council will do to steer that from the front and from the health towns like Kilagland. We're very dependent on the tourist trade and are very dependent on the factories and the jobs that we have here and we're very grateful for them. But we're always looking for new ways to improve and to create more employment and stuff. And I for one would be looking to the management of Kerry County Council and these new LCDCs, which I do not agree with, but now they're there. Be looking to them for guidance as to what they're going to do to help towns such as Kilang. Yeah, well, the difference between Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil and Labour and us, we'll say, who, who, my uncle Michael is an independent in Dalian, as you know, and I'm an independent councillor. We are of the people and we work for the people. We pride ourselves in that we carry out over 80 clinics a month, countywide every month. We're dealing with the issues on the ground on a daily basis. Yes, I think people are disillusioned with the bigger parties because they feel that this government in particular, in my book, they're an anti-health government. We have issues every day with medical care. They're an anti-rural government, in my view, to do with the likes of South Kerry Partnership, to do with farmers, to do with fishermen and tourism, which is very important to us here. I feel they're very anti-rural. And I feel that, you know, for me, I cannot see why people would continue to support them on the, all the false promises that they made and they've just ran away from them, stuck to nothing and stood by nothing and that's why I'm glad to say that I'm an independent candidate and I hope to be elected that way. I was never a member of a political party in my life and I don't intend to be to lead the work this way at one work at all. With the one promise I would make every person that I've met is if they are looking for either me or Michael or my father in the clan electoral area, that they will find us. We're accessible to people through our clinics, through our phone, we're always available. And it, like what people forget that are elected into politics or seem to forget very quickly is when you're elected to politics or when you run for politics for a position on a, on a, as a council seat or in Dalian, you're running for to serve the people that, that elect you. That's why you're there. You're there to serve them. You're working for them. If we don't want to do that, and if we don't like that, and if we don't like answering your phone, and if we don't like all the time it takes, don't run for it. But we do like doing it. We're, I grew up with politics since I was very young. I like it. I like the cut and thrust of it. And hope, I hope to be there after the 23rd of May.